Hi everyone, this is Mega Mitsubasa. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a flip through with of this um, mini album that I made months ago. <laughs> so if you watched the previous video, I talked already of um, these two albums that I made last April and in this video, I'm going to talk only about this one. So if you want to watch this one, see the previous video. Thank you! <laughs> and so I'll start with who I gave this to and I gave this to my twin sister. I call her Boxy or Bogs or Boxy, usually Boxy. And if I'm going to give a description of my sister in a dictionary, it goes Boxy, made out of flowers, coffee, selfie stick, and more coffee <laughs> but in this album i just placed a lot of flowers because she is very flowery i made a garden themed um, album for her so this one is made out of um, tongue depressors i have a lot of tongue depressors because my husband thought i can use unnecessary stuff for scrapbooking so she so he gave me a lot of tongue depressors he's a nurse they have a lot of tongue depressors there so he, he gave me a box of it <laughs> and so i made it into a gate or a fence and i painted it white do some uh, fence things in here and i placed some flowers my flowers that i placed in here are um, yellows purples and hot pink and white and but these hot pink and purple have glitters on them that is so cool I also used my favorite leaves and then um, some sprites that I like to call them and as usual my logo in here in blue and silver that's because I am not putting my name on the things that I do just my logo and so the spine is the first time that I use this kind of spine usually I'd like to cover it like this but this one it's just so cool it's just so rugged so gardeny it's so rustic and that is how i bind my books and on the back is like this the fence stuff and a sunflower here that actually holds the closure so i struggled putting this on because it goes everywhere and i have to hold this for a long time because the b6000 is not drying up fast so also this is the closure that is new to me is actually inspired also by a garden mini album that I saw on Pinterest. Every crafter on Pinterest. <laughs> and this is the closure that I made. It is a, what do you call this? A, just a clip for me. Um, and then I placed some um, chains that I got from a necklace, faux gold necklaces, years, years, years before. And I also placed, I almost forgot I also placed crackle paint in here to make it crackle like a fence like old fence that is so cute I'm so hyped doing this one and without further ado to stop me from blabbering more of the page of the cover I'm going to flip through this one I failed many times doing this I think it's still a failure but it's lesser evil than the ones that I made it's made of books I forgot Books is another description for my sister. Loads of books. So she always calls me um, book murderer because I recycle pages of the books and I made it into this. I also do a lot of things with old books, but I myself, a crafter, is giving life back to the books that isn't read at all. Well, this is the real living of those books. I think it's so cool like this. And I just placed three um, leaves because um there are odd numbers <laughs> and on the next page is like this here is a blank pink page so it, this is mostly pinks and whites the other one is red and orange and um just random ribbons messy thread techniques a ribbon and i stitch it in there and some stamping in here and blank page a um, die cut here ribbons and um, excess par parchment paper that I Martha Stewart die cut thing <laughs> I don't know what that thing um, but uh, behind this I stamped also some notes uh, some music sheet things and this I love the overhanging of laces 
and this is because I think this part is with a lot of flowers but not really into them so I placed some silver laces in the sides I think it's pretty like that and then some old book pages from German old book here I cannot read that one because it's not English and some um, collaging or layering of scrap pieces of papers laces and ribbons stitches everywhere and I stamp here beautiful with my dew drop um, stamp this stamp has glitters on them you see <laughs> so pretty and then the next page is, is a lot of letters and so where can you put your journaling in here unless you put it just in the small spaces but I think my sister is not that um, kind of <laughs> and I think so too so we can put um, photos in here and some parchment paper stapled with um, ribbon good ones and I placed two parchment paper here um, use this as a clasp or faux clasp of this parchment paper wherein you can journal in here so you cannot really see the letters behind so it is not too distracting for your writing and then these are just cool ribbons see how pretty that ribbon is and stamping behind and then on the next page is I layered some really scraps of pieces of things like uh, scrap parchment papers and ribbons and a die cut that I got from a 12 by 12 um, paper stack and and I sewed it for decorations and this is one of the pages that I like in this book is a pocket of the other side of that um, um, this one see there are other sides in the signature <laughs> so cool because I made this into a pocket and this is the tag that comes inside here a plain pink a butterfly underneath and a parchment paper with um, what do you call this one um, this is a ringlet <laughs> I don't know um, but I just get it back in here so this is made of a Martha Stewart um, puncher and on the next page is like this my favorite and this is a piece of fabric lace um, nighty that mom gave us but I'm not really into a nighty person I prefer pajamas <laughs> I don't wear things like this <laughs> and so I made it into a pocket of this book I let them overhang like this I think it's so pretty that way it's so chunk journaly <laughs> and I place a tag in here I made myself and um, from a scrapbook 6x6 six six scrapbook paper a reinforcer from a 12x12 12 12 scrapbook pieces it comes with stuff like this it like this and I and I placed some ribbon on the top and then on this side is just plain pink she can put, put pictures in here and this one is she crocheted herself but she did not continue I just found it somewhere else in this house and so I placed it in here using a glue gun and I may use it as a trimming in here I and this page I punched using my Martha Stewart puncher in Daisy I think that's Daisy an Instax film can fit right into here also into here it gives you a little um, uh, distance in here but it fits so perfectly with Instax so I really don't have the sizes the sizes of the page I just paste it onto an Instax film <laughs> so that goes there and then the next page I just stamped in a dream catcher in this one so she can write the journaling in here while she put the pictures in here and just some flowers purples and pinks and a little bit of blue and on the next page is a parchment with stitching and a piece of die cut that I place in here and then stamp more of that oniony things using um, the dew drop in maroon I guess so cool this is also from the Rosie's studio stamp set a page from an old book and I also stamp um, from the oldest uh, acrylic stamp that I have and on the next page is 
just like this more collaging of stuff making into a cluster of things and here is a pocket of ribbon and I just placed in some of um, this um, project life card dish that is a freebie from a stamp that I got online <laughs> And also a tag, a small tag at a place in here from the 12 by 12 that I keep talking about. <laughs> and then I reinforced on the sides with some stitchings. Because I used a double sided tape that I don't think will last forever. So I just placed some stitchings in there. And some stamping up there. A failed stamping. So I think it's it adds something something. <laughs> And then on the next page is, I just placed some die cut on top. The gold, the white flower has gold foilings. And she can put pictures in here and journaling in here. Some stamping and some um, typewritten things says happy moments. And on the next page is the other end of that scrapbook paper that I have somewhere in here. Here? The other end it's, is like this, so I added this piece of fabric and I stapled it in. Of course, it has double-sided in there. Staples for additional interest and decorations. I think staples are just so cool. This is a piece of fabric that is from here, but I think if you tr throw this out, scrapbookers don't do that don't throw away beautiful stuff like this beautiful unnecessary stuff like this <laughs> and so I placed it there and I think it's so cool <laughs> this is a blank pink paper that has um, a die cut here uh, trimming lace a lace trimming in here and then I stitch it on and this also glistens on the sides so pretty on the next page is my favorite part not really not so favorite like the other one here but I like my collaging here very simple very straight at the point and this is just plain pink and I stamp a girl uh, I mean a one that dressmakers uh, use before to make their gowns but somehow I failed on stamping in the end and in the middle there and so there is a piece of cloth that I made from the spine here. Piece of cloth just somewhere and I said scrapbookers do not throw beautiful unnecessary stuff like this. So I placed it in there, added another piece of ribbon, uh, adhered it there and then do some stitching. So I think it's so cute. <laughs> and here is I just stamped some musical notes in there, some butterflies underneath. I think it's more of a moth than a butterfly. And then on this side is that washi um, tape things. It's not really the washi tape, but it's it's made of roll. It sticks by itself, so it's basically just washi again. <laughs> but it is not a transparent washi, it really has the whole extra decorative washi tape I call it <laughs> and then on this side is just some a ribbon that has beautiful punches on the sides um, I just place it in there layered some stamping and then some ribbons some stitchings and staplers I don't know what they are holding in there but it's for decorations we relax <laughs> and then the next page is um, piece of beautiful organza lace and a beautiful stripe mm, butterfly and then some stitchings here just plain um, for white for journaling and I stamped two butterflies in there using my dew drop and my archival ink and some parchment paper and I placed a, a die cut here that says always I also stitched them with zigzags and this is a page full of foil things it's so busy like this so I I did not decorate it much in here so I just made a tag like this with a die cut underneath some stitchings some gold thing gold things I said gold 
<laughs> goiled and foil is goiled. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I play some reinforcements here and uh, I really forgot what these are called. <laughs> anyway, that is that. This one is a pocket. And on the next page is another one of my favorites. I use, um, I just layer some parchment paper, some stitching ribbon, and a rows of flowers of roses because our names our real names have a rose in that so we like a lot of rose <laughs> a belly band of flowers see it's so pretty so i make it into a belly band and then a project lifeguard that is also a freebie from the stamp uh, store that i bought months or a year ago i think and then on the next page is a stamping of butterflies and roses. It slightly glistens, so um, so pretty like that. She can journal in here or put photo in here, and then um, some journaling in here. And I layer some stamps, stamping, and then parchment paper, and then a piece of um, die cut which has also goil foilings that I got from a Rosie Studio collection that I got from National Bookstore. Yay! And then I also added a lace trimming in here on the sides and I overhung a lot because I think it's so pretty. And then on the next page is I just do some stamping in here. Maybe she put something like Borakai or flowers or whatever she likes like Foxy <laughs> and or the title of the book she reads some photos in here or journaling some musical notes and then on this side is a um, flowers full of flowers page she can place photo in here I just place some um, tab in here do some stitching and on the other side is plain with a flowers um, vintage flowers decoration um, washi ish um, from the 12 by 12 that I keep on talking about and then some stitching in here the next page is uh, that old uh, pages of the book I stamp some what is this um, peonies and then I layered it with some um, parchment paper and then I place some words here that says let your smile be contagious what is that I think I'm losing a flower <laughs> and then on the next page is very simple I just stamp a rows of daisies in here I think this one is a freebie again from the stamp store that I am uh, buying <laughs> online stamp store that I'm buying and the page is again so busy with letters and I don't know what to do about that if I journal myself unless I put some things like this but I do not really want to cover everything so I'm using a parchment paper some ribbon underneath and some flower in here Keep foiled very good foiled things and then the next page is a pocket and a pull out tab and a, a lot of uh, mistakes while stitching but I guess it adds the vintageness I did some um, stamping in there and I, and I use a really cool um, ribbon as a pull out tab and on the next page is another excess of um, fabric of that spine that I used if only I can explain to you how fine and thick these fabrics are. They are the best quality of fabrics that you can use. So it is such a waste if you throw this away. So uh, scrapbooks and uh, smash books and junk journals is best for this one. So instead of um, throwing this away, you can have them as really, really good decorations. And then I have here a piece, piece of ribbon that is kind of damaged on the ends, but you do not throw good things, unnecessary things like this. So I adhered them and adhered more of that um, stapler. Like it doesn't really need to because I am using B6000 to um, adhere them. 
and also I punch out some daisies on the side and on the last page is this one plain pink and this is a again I don't know how to call my things but this is like a gem e stone brads yes brads this is a brad they go together and this is assassin suite this is a gift from my sister that she got me last december i think or just she, she gave me random things <laughs> and this goes also with oh where is the letter b oh and then on the very back is that um a huge die cut corner die cut from the 12 by 12 paper pack that I am always um, talking about <laughs> and I made it into a pocket I think this is what it's supposed to be on the corners so it, I think it fits so perfectly like this and it is a perfect place for um, the washi samples that I gave her it has pink on ribbon more pink and just one red for washi tapes of course they can have more from me <laughs> if they wanted <laughs> and i forgot foil things yay just re-mentioning how pretty the spine is because they deserve my spine deserves that recognition <laughs> it's just so pretty okay so this is the end of my album share i hope you like it as much as i like it i enjoyed making them i make i made this two um together like this and this and i have things here add things there so i made these two together so to beat my deadline for our birthday because our birthdays go together and so if you like this video please hit like and subscribe if you're not yet and click that bell icon to be updated once i upload a video which is um i promise to be <laughs> uploading a lot <laughs> but mom life <laughs> and so um thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon on my next video bye